yeah. interesting things that happened. It uh, was uh, when we were in that school. A uh, Dick Dick Corcoran, I got him a job there too. He and I were good friends, and uh, he he was really needing the money. Uh, he was getting ready to be get married, and he didn't have any cash, and and uh, so so he came, but. Right next to the school was a lady who had a nice house, big house. She rented out bedrooms. She had about, uh, it's a big house. She had about seven or eight bedrooms. So we all roomed there, you know, a lot of us roomed there. And uh, there was a black fellow, his name was John Branch, I'll never forget his name, that was, came to the school one day. Uh, right after we were there for a, a week or so. He was from North Carolina. A real friendly guy, older man, uh, and he was sleeping in his car. And, you know, we, we, we went down to the city one night, had dinner, and invited him to come, and he hesitated, didn't want to come. And Dick said to me, he said, you know, Dick was a little <coughs> wiser of these things, having been in the Navy for several years. Uh, he said uh, he doesn't want to come because he doesn't want us to be embarrassed. And what do you mean? Well, he's, you know, there's a lot of probably a lot of bigoted people. So anyway, I suggested to him the next day that I, why don't you come on? There's a couple, she's got a couple empty rooms. She wouldn't rent him a room. Wow. Uh, so we went over and confronted her, like four of us. <laughs> and uh, she said, well, he, you know, he's, he's not, he, he's black. He, well, he's Negro in those days. That's what she called him. And uh, well, we said, you know, he's, going to school here, he needs a place to sleep. And she essentially said that wasn't her problem. And I said, well, Dick and I looked at each other, <laughs> and we sort of pre-planned this. And we just said, well, we're just going to pack up and leave ourselves. <laughs> and she had second thoughts right away, because her income was going to go away for a few months. And uh, she let him stay there. But it was, you know, it was an eye-opener for a young guy. And, you know, it's, uh, it's amazing. Those days, there were, there were not a lot of, uh, even though it was long past the Civil War, mm -hmm. <laughs> long past, and uh, it, it, they had yet to have the, the issues in the South. Uh, but it, it was obvious that there was a tremendous amount of discrimination throughout this country, far north of the Mason-Dixon line. And, uh, you know, people like John Branch were actually more comfortable in the South, uh, where, you know, they had become accustomed to living whatever their lifestyle was. Uh, it wasn't that way up north. So. And it probably still is to some extent all over this country. Anyway, that was, that was one of my uh, takeaways from that period of time.